Hello everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sister with Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this beauty. It's gonna be very elegant and very classy. Also in this tutorial we are going to use for the first time Dixie Shine which is amazing. It's going straight to our favorite list. So yeah, let's get into it! Let's do it! The first step of the process is cleaning the piece really well with white lightening Dixie Bear Furniture Cleaner, a scrubby sponge and a toothbrush for details. Once I was done with cleaning, I rinsed the whole piece twice, only with water to remove any leftover solution or dirt. I applied two coats of slick stick, which is an adhesion primer that makes the paint bond to shiny surfaces, such as this one. After applying two coats, um, I let the piece to dry for about 24 hours prior to painting. Meanwhile, I prepared a custom color, but it got really messy, just so you know from now. I wanted a light beige, so I mixed about 5-6 spoons of white clay paint and then 2 spoons of the new Dixie Bell color cobblestone. But after I mixed it, I realized I want it with a tint of grey in it, so I started to add um, graver road until I was happy with the color. I forgot to mention, the reason I mixed chalk paint with clay paint is because clay paint is thicker, so it's just great for creating texture. It turned out like this, so I said let's go for it. Anyway, after I applied it all over the piece, I didn't like the color at all. But um, we will get there, we will get there and sort out this problem. I used a cheap brush and um, I apply the paint in many directions to create texture, brush strokes, all the good stuff. I didn't quite like the color in the end uh, new ideas came in so I created a new custom color I didn't mess this one up although I didn't measure the paint it was okay I added lots of white and then I added black but little by little until I got the right shade of gray That was the right color, so I went for it. I started to apply it same as I applied the base coat in many directions. I only applied less paint and I've, I've been careful not to completely cover our base color. A bit of it peeking through will look just great. This style is like a really, really heavy dry brushing. Although I had to add some water in um, a few spots to reactivate the paint because it has dried and it was really hard to move it around.
once the piece has dried we um, applied easy peasy wax all over it because we want to apply brown wax afterwards and this will help the brown wax to move around easily rather than getting stuck in that texture after applying the clear wax i spread it around with the cloth and then waited 30 minutes to cure we painted the drawer sides with the same light gray color I created some lovely shadows with brown wax. I just picked up a very small amount of paint, wiped the excess and then I just used circular motion to apply it. After 15 minutes we bathed off the brown wax to remove the excess and then we applied golden gilding wax over the brown one. I used the biggest artist brush from Dixie Belle, I always use this one for waxing, that's why it's bended like this. But it's perfectly bended I would say as it gives a really nice effect and it's really easy to apply it. Just make sure to pick up a small amount of wax in this situation too. Now we are going to use for the first time Dixie Shine. It has a special glue that you have to apply 15 minutes before sticking the golden foil. So after 15 minutes it's time for the magic to happen. I cut a bit of the um, Dixie Shine and I went for it and I love it! Ah! It's amazing guys, it's amazing. We are loving it and it goes straight into our favorite list. We just rub it and this happens. It's so so satisfying as well to apply it. I'm gonna seal this piece with flat clear coat, but I'll do it in about a week after the black wax is completely cured. Now the golden gilding wax wasn't matching only by itself, so we applied a bit of um, Dixie Shine on the drawer edges, but just a little bit. And this is the final result! We are loving it! What do you guys think? Please let us know in the comments below. And thank you so much for um, watching and hope you learned something new today and enjoy our tutorial and hope to see you in the next one! See you soon! Bye!